What's up guys? It's Kyle here and this is a little bit unique because I'm actually going to change things up and what you're going to see is my hope anyway. I plan on putting up all my daily stories that I throw up on Instagram. Now I could be doing them on YouTube but to be honest that's just a pain to um, you know do the stories in all these different places. Instagram is my main platform for stories so I'm going to go ahead and upload today's stories right after this and what you're going to find is that there's probably not a whole lot of continuity but if you're following along on the build series and all these other things you might catch a lot of kind of inside insight into uh, the job site and maybe even some of the relationship between me and the guys and you might learn a little bit more about everything that's going on with our, our building. So here we go. Watch and uh, hopefully enjoy. Hey, hey, check it out. We're bringing the JCB to site. Getting it loaded up right now so we can set the last couple trusses and wall with the Teleboom, the Cheyenne Teleboom. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited and a little bit anxious. You guys, I just had one of the craziest things happen to me. And you know, it's one of those things that I'm not proud of, but I was headed to the site and you know I had the JCB hooked up and we had a four-way stop that's always been super dangerous. And there was no stop, sorry, it was a two-way stop, but the fourth way, uh, lots of accidents always happened. And today I, uh, I was headed up there and they put a caution sign close to the uh, intersection, so I thought, hmm, there must be some construction going on or whatever. Well, it didn't even register. Yesterday, they put a four-way stop in, and there was really no signification other than like a blinking red light on the stop sign, which should have been the giveaway. And I was looking right at it, but it didn't register. I slammed my brakes on so quick. I roll, or I, I kind of hopped into the middle of the intersection, and there's a cop sitting right there waiting for people to miss the stop sign, probably to educate them. Maybe he wasn't gonna give anybody tickets, but needless to say, my heart was racing. I roll up to the cop after I, you know, kind of picked up my pride that fell out of the truck. Um, and he just sitting there grinning at me and he's smiling. He said, yeah, I heard you lock him up. And I thought, hey, I think he's gonna make it. And uh, that was it. He just said, have a good day. And uh, my heart's still racing. I think the biggest takeaway though is that I was hauling this 12,000 pound teleskid on my trailer with my one ton truck and they both performed like exceptional. I've never had to slam on my brakes like that. I cannot believe that it stopped in the distance that it did and with such control. I thought when I hit my brakes, I was gonna see the skid loader like do one of them YouTube video fail compilation videos where it flips over and smashes the truck bed or something. Well gonna put the teleboom on the teleskid so we're gonna get even more reach than we're used to with the Kubota but will it perform and how will the controls be for smoothness that's what I'm curious but before we start let's uh, take a take a second to enjoy this awesome looking half price donut because they were made yesterday not fresh today it's okay they're still amazing and I don't know what Casey's got going on today but it looks good well, no problem taking it up with the teleboom all the way out. I actually even extended the teleskid boom all the way out and I went straight out. That way it was about at the worst tipping point. No issues, felt real solid, but no need to overdo it just to overdo it. Uh, this is what we would do in, you know, any situation. But I will say it was a little jerky. Greg might have almost peed his pants when I dropped it. A little bit. Doesn't look like much from straight on, but when you get to the side. That is quite the reach. We managed to get all of our trusses up. Got one side of overhang on, two foot overhang. Front garage door just got built, ready to go up. And we're working on grade board. What a gorgeous day here on site. Believe it or not, I do let Greg drive the JCB too, because I don't own this one. Haha. <laughs> Good job, Greg! Smooth. Check it out, guys. Updated Super Hog. Uh, this thing, I actually bought one of these hogs back when it was corded 
and I think my wrist still hurts. It is amazing how far technology has come, and this is a tool that proves just that. Man, guys, I am not an excavator, but I do play one on Instagram. I just put this sweet little shelf along our building. There was about a four foot drop off, and if I, sorry for the shakiness, if I bring you to the back, I can kind of show you exactly what I was talking about. So look down this wall, see how that is? Yeah, that's no bueno. We can't bring our machinery along the wall, so I just made this killer shelf. It's a nice ramp for the mega deck to get up. Now we can do this, uh, put our overhangs in and install our roof, so that's awesome. Day is going great. Well, back home at the shop here, and I brought the Kubota home, mainly because I'm gonna try to squeeze out another job with that JCB Teleskid. Uh, I actually used it today to set trusses, the last couple trusses, and to hang a header and a wall, and it did great. The one thing that is for sure is it's a lot touchier or more sensitive than the Kubota, but I really do enjoy it. And actually, I've got a video live probably by the time you guys see these stories over on YouTube where I kind of take you through uh, the kind of high-level points that I wanted to hit with my thoughts on that teleskid. So if you're in the market for a teleskid, maybe watch it. Don't use that as the you know, either sole reason to buy or not to buy the Teleskid. I think everybody should sit in one and try it. It's too much money to listen to uh, one guy's opinion, obviously. Uh, but that machine is awesome. So is the Teleskid. Difference is, I actually own that one free and clear. I don't own the Teleskid yet. Yeah, and I've also got something pretty cool I want to show you guys. You guys have seen this, maybe you haven't. It is so easy to get some killer footage. Um, this is the case for it it's a hard case and when you put the camera in there it actually charges it at the same time so i don't remember how many charges you can get out of this but it's rechargeable with usb-c and i think you can actually charge devices from this i'm not 100 percent sure but you've got some sd card holders here and underneath of this you can put some nd filters if you want so just wanted to share that pretty killer super tiny you can see that it's charging and actually it lights up right there too but anyway, um, pretty badass little camera. Not a bad way to end the day. Hey girl, how you doing? Say hi Luna.